Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I have the March of Luma Crate to open up for you. As per usual, I don't know what's inside. I cannot remember the theme. Let's have a look together. I am a rep for Luma Crate, so if you'd like to receive 5% off the three to six month subscription, you can use my code booksnest5 at checkout. The theme is fantasy. Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> I think looking at this that the book is Fathom Folk, which I'm kind of hoping it is because I was holding off buying it until I knew whether it was coming in a book subscription box. So let's dig in. We have a plant pot and a child yelling in the background. <laughs> this is the underwater haven plant pot. That child woke me up this morning and it's now making more noise. I'm a big fan of a plant. I'm a big plant. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of my plant pots. I've got many a plant pot. And this one is underwater themed. We have got jellyfish and whatever that horse was that like meant to be a seahorse. Let's have a look at the information. This is the underwater haven plant pot designed by Anna Steed and is inspired by Fathom Folk. That's gonna be the book then, that's the book. <laughs> is it a book pot month? I did not know it was a book pot month. Where's my scissors gone? Book pot! Oh, my voice just disappeared then. It's going well today. Oh, it's so pretty. I love these so, so much. Mythical sea creatures, legends of myth mythical sea creatures book pot. On the back it says tales from the deepest depths of the ocean and on the side it says the kraken, mermaids and leviathan. That's so cool. Okay, who designed this? This is designed by Jane Tibbetts and is inspired by all mythical sea creatures. Post-it notes, but like see-through post-it notes? Is that what these are? Are they like little see-through ones so you can actually see what you've written if you're annotating your book? Because that's clever. I think I bought some like this a while ago and I have absolutely no idea where they are. It says, your magic is wonderful, I'll remember you. I really like that. I love the fact that you can literally see what is written underneath them if you're annotating. These are the Beneath the Waves sticky notes designed by Maragona Suli. We have a book jacket, ta-da. This has got a kraken on it, I think. A little tiny ship that stands no chance against the kraken. <laughs> this is the Kraken in the Deep book jacket designed by Paul Hami, and this is inspired by the adventures of Amina al Sarafi. I'm enjoying the color scheme for this box. It's very pretty. Okay, it's time for the book. The book is, of course, Fathom Folk by Eliza Chan. This is so pretty. I was literally looking at this yesterday, really tempted to buy it. I was like, no, hold off. I feel like it was, it gave the vibe of a book box and I don't often look at the spoilers in advance for the themes for each month. So I try and be as surprised as I can be. And I'm so glad that it is included in this box. This is so beautiful. I really like the color scheme. Interestingly, like not the color scheme of all of the other items in this box, but I really like it. I'm getting interrupted all over the place today. Okay, let's have a look at the end pages and under the dust jacket. Those are some nice end pages. I don't really love character art too much. I feel like I, it kind of, it's so separate to me in my head as to what I imagine the characters to look like that I just don't associate it with the book at all times. But this, that's so pretty. Okay, that's, that's really nice. Let's look at the back end pages. See, I don't mind that kind of character art so much because it's, it is like clear what they look like, but it's, I don't know, I, I like that art style. That's really nice. And then of course, the book is signed and there's also an author letter as well here. I like the author letters printed in. I enjoy that a lot because half the time I end up losing them and then not realizing where I put them when it comes to actually reading the book. Welcome to Tiankawi, shining pearl of human civilization and a safe haven for those fleeing civil unrest, or at least that's how it first appears. But in the semi-flooded city, humans are quite literally on top, peering down from shining towers and aerial walkways on the Fathom Folk, sirens, sea witches, kelpies and cappers, who live in the polluted waters below. For half siren mirror, promotion to captain of the board means an opportunity to help her downtrodden people, but if earning the trust and respect of her human colleagues wasn't hard enough, everything Mira has worked towards is put in jeopardy when Nami, a, no a know-it-all water dragon, Fathom Folk royalty, is exiled to the city. When extremists sabotage the annual boat race, violence erupts, as does the clap clamp down on Fathom Folk rights. Both Nami and Mira must decide if the cost if of change is worth paying, or if Tiankawi should be left to drown. This is a debut fantasy inspired by East Asian mythology and ocean folk tales, perfect for fans of Jade City, the Bone Shard Daughter and House of Earth and Blood. It sounds so good and it's so pretty. So this is obviously the Illumicrate exclusive edition, which has a signed royal hardback, features an exclusive cover from the publishers, end paper artwork by Tropical Gloom, full color printing on the case by Dan Liz Art, and a digitally printed four edge also from the publishers. It's so pretty. I'm really excited about this book. I think it sounds so good. And I also think my favorite item this month is the book pot because I cannot resist a book pot, but sticky notes, 
big fan of these too. This was a good box. I, I had a good time. As I said, I am a rep for Illumicrate. If you would like to receive 5% off your three to six month subscription, you can use my code BOOKSNEST5 at checkout. These unboxings are getting speedier and speedier. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.